Did how many of our youngsters knew that yesterday was the day of Arafah, the main day of Hajj? How many of us fasted? It's nafil, it's not even fard. But this food for thought, the most azim day, one of the most azim days in the day of the Muslim calendar. The first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah up to the day of Eid. The first nine, every day you fast, you get the reward equivalent of fasting one whole year. Every night's ibadah is equivalent to Laylatul Qadr. Fasting on the day of Arafah, you kafiru sanat al madiyah wal baqiyah. It, forget, it causes an expiation of your previous year's minor sins and your coming year minor sins. Which house had a mahal yesterday of Arafah? Where, which house had the discussion of Hajj and Umrah? Which house had the discussion of the life of Rasulullah? I'm ready to put money and bet, not that it's jais, but to have a guess. Let's say this. I'm ready to make this bold statement that our youngsters being holidays, 95% of them just sat with devices in their hands. Many of us walking to and fro past our children, neither thought it important to address them, to encourage them, to create a mohal at home. Kicholo yar, it's holidays, come and sit down, let's read some hadith, let's learn something. But when something hits the fan and the kid becomes a drug addict, the girl runs away from home, all manners of problems, kufr is creeping in, then we want to go to the Maulbi South. And then first we blame the committee, we blame the masjid, we blame the madrasa, and then we finally say that my child is gumrah. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would cry for the mushrikeen and majus, how should we be crying over our children? We should be crying tears of blood. Where are our youngsters going to be tonight? Alhamdulillah, it's not a Friday or a Saturday. Alhamdulillah, it's not a weekend. On the day of Eid is a time when people should be getting together, spending time with family. Our youngsters have one thing in mind. Go to a place, hire out a car, run around in your car, smoke drugs. This is what's happening in our community. We can't push these things underneath the carpet. It may be bitter for some people to hear. Now why is he talking about this on the member? Because it's our hak to talk the truth. Where are our shabab? Ask yourself that question. Where are the future of this ummah? Where is the future of Crawley? Go to the local clubs. Go to the local pubs. Go to your local drug dealers. They are our youngsters. Our brothers. Our sons. Our daughters. You don't have to be Pakistani to look at another Pakistani as your own. He can be Bengali, Pakistani, Moroccan, Algerian. Al Muslim kal jasad al wahid. The Muslim is one body. We don't look at Maghribi and Mashriqi. We don't look at black and white. We don't look at rich and poor. Ya ayyuhan nas. Qulu la ilaha illallah tuflihu. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was telling the people. This is what his da'wah would be. Say la ilaha illallah and become successful.